Hello, welcome back everyone. Uh, I wanted to do a video for preparation for winter and the first major task you get us into winter. And that's going to be treating your bees for mites. I am not treatment free. I do treat my bees. Uh, there's been plenty of arguments back and forth to treat, not to treat, um, how to treat, what products to use for treating. I, I, this is not a forum to have all of those arguments. You can go to any beekeeping forum and, you know, get all the attitude and ego that you can handle and have all those arguments there. And you could flex your ego and your attitude just as much. But as far as my channel goes, it's not really what this channel is designed for. It's really designed for the, the newer beekeeper, uh, the beginning beekeeper, maybe somebody who hasn't even started beekeeping. And you know, these are just my methods. I've said it before in other videos. I'm going to say it again. These are not my methods that I've invented. These are methods that I've learned. They're not the only methods out there. There may be better methods, but these are the ones that I've used, I've adopted, that I've learned from, you know, old time beekeepers that I choose to, to use. And that's what I'm passing on to you. So to come here and try to push your ideology and try to change people's mind, it's just, you know, it's, please don't, you know, start your own YouTube channel and, and spread the good word out there. And then people could watch my video, they could watch your video and they can, you know, you know, discern from that, which, you know, is better in their mind. So that being said, let's get right into treatment. Let's talk about mites first. Uh, a little information about mites that people may not know. Uh, the varroa mite itself does not kill your bees. Doesn't, that's not what kills the bees. It's the viruses and diseases that the varroa mite transfers to the bees. And then they usually die over the winter time because the bees are just too weak. The populations dwindle, the bees are just not healthy. And since winter is the biggest challenge for the bees, although when they're happy and healthy, they, they do it in stride. So we, we have to have strong, happy, healthy bees going into winter. I do a knockdown treatment first and then a cleanup round. They're, they're well spaced apart. I'll give you the timeline right now. My knockdown treatment, I use Formic Pro. Uh, it's a product you can get at any bee supply. And I do that in mid-August because I want my treatments done, you know, you know, by the time, you know, those winter bees are starting to emerge and, and be produced. So winter bees live longer than your regular bees during the regular season. They're literally working themselves to death when they become foragers. Well, there's no foragers over winter, so there's no working anybody to death. So they're gonna live longer. They live a couple, maybe a few months. And that's why it is so important to have your bees mite and virus free before then but not too soon because you don't want the mite loads to build back up from the earlier bees that, you know, uh, die in four to six weeks. And then now your winter bees are being, and, and then you already did your treatment, at, you know, before the winter bees are even uh, emerging and being born. That's a knockdown treatment. Then your cleanup round, that's what I do. I use oxalic acid. The cleanup round is, I do it, I used to do it around Thanksgiving. I always try to time things around like holidays if I can, because it's easy to remember. However, the, you know, the falls, the late falls, at least where I'm at, have been a little bit on the milder side. And the reason why the oxalic acid, you want it as late as possible is because you want your hive to be broodless. I'm gonna go into these details further on in the video. So I've pushed my oxalic uh, acid treatment cleanup round back to like first or second week in December. Okay, so that's the, the two treatments that I use. So let's discuss the differences between formic acid and oxalic acid. Um, there's pros and cons to each, and that's why I use them the way that I do, because they actually wind up complementing each other, in my opinion. So one of the, the, the advantages to formic pro is that one, they kill mites that are underneath the brood cappings. So you can have cap brood, there's a mite under there, the formic bro will get under there. Oxalic acid does not kill mites under the brood cappings. They only kill exposed mites. Another advantage to formic pro, you can use it with the honey supers on. It's, it's approved. Um, so in, in the summertime, that's when your honey supers on, 
great, uh, Formic Pro is a great candidate for that. Oxalic acid, I use that later on down the line in, you know, late fall. One, the, there's very little brood in the hive. The queen pretty much shuts down brood production. So the issue of not getting under the caps is a non-issue and nobody's got honey supers on for human consumption that late in the season. So that problem kind of just works itself out. So that's the advantages and disadvantages and why I use them together and in conjunction with each other that way. It just works out, you know, really, really well. You know, I'll go over the both formic acid and oxalic acid and how they're both used. I'm not going to demonstrate either one because that's something that you, you kind of have to research on your own. The oxalic acid, I, I'll probably do a demonstration video of that when I treat my bees. That's not too uh, complicated or invasive. The formic has to be done exactly, like as the instructions say. So this is how the formic pro comes. It comes in a little pouch. There's two pads in here. So one of these is one dose. You can use it in any configuration. If you look on, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try to scan this and put this in the info section on, you know, this video. Uh, who knows? I'll, maybe I'll try to figure out how to actually put this in the video. Where it's actually, you know, flashing on the screen and you could screenshot it or whatever and use it as reference. But however, this does come in any order of Formic Pro that you get is going to have this and you have to follow it. So you can use it on single deeps. Um, you can use it on a single deep with a honey super. You can use it on double deeps, double deep with a honey super. Uh, there's two dosing instructions. The first one is both pads go between the brew chambers or on top of the single brew chamber and that would go for 14 days. You come back 14 days later and take your, you know, treatments out, inspect your bees. We'll cover why you, you, it's a good idea to inspect after your formic treatment. And then that's it. The other method would be one pad per hive for 10 days. You remove that pad and put in the second single. So it's a 20 day regimen as opposed to the regular dose, which is two pads for 14 days. It's just quick, you know, one and done. Um, so that's how formic is administered. Exalic acid is a little more uh, complicated to get it into the hive, but not as sensitive. This right here is what I started out with. Uh, this is like $100. You know, I would say very entry level beginner level and I, I, I wouldn't, you know, I would encourage any new beekeeper to get this. You don't want to drop all this money, you know, and, and maybe beekeeping doesn't work out for you and then you just invested all this money into what essentially is just a failed hobby. So this connects to a 12 volt battery with your little alligator clips. You would put your oxalic acid in here. You would insert this in the hive. You would um, cover the entrance around, you know, you know, with uh, wet rags or paper towels and you would connect this to your battery. This will heat up. The oxalic acid, which is a powder, will vaporize. And when it cools, it reforms as crystals. And it goes all over the hive. It disperses through the hive. And the bees also walk through it and move around and also help spread it around. And that kills your mites. So that is your entry level. I used one of these for the first probably two or three years. And then I just got too many hives and it was just too time consuming. So the device, uh, that I treated myself to that's uh, a little, you know, quite a bit more money, but way quicker to use is what they call an easy vap. You can get these online uh, from any of your bee distributors. And the way it works is it heats up this bowl and that vaporizes your oxalic acid. It's got a thermostat. So you plug this in, it, it needs AC. So you'd have to get a power inverter uh, to hook up to your 12 volt battery and you would plug this in and that would be your AC. Um, so it comes with these little red cups that you put your oxalic acid dose into and you would insert, you would drill a hole in the back of your hive, whether it's through the bottom board or the bottom of the bottom brood uh, box and you would insert this and then you would plug this in, turn it on. It's going to heat up to 400 and something degrees. 
When it does that and it beeps and lets you know that it's up to temperature, you would spin it upside down and then you would take the little cup that comes with it with your oxalic acid and you would put it in there while it's still inside the hive. This will be inserted into your, into your hive. And then you just kind of spin it around and give it tap. And all that oxalic acid will drop down into this bowl and it'll vaporize and it'll shoot through this little copper tube into your hive and it'll vaporize your hive. And that's it. They're, they're pretty expensive, uh, but they're really fast. I mean, if you have 20, 30 hives, I mean, it's worth it. And that's it. That's it for mite treatments and the first phase of winter prep. I mean, you are preparing for winter and thinking about it probably a month earlier towards, you know, the end of your uh, main flow because you're always kind of one, you know, one season ahead or thinking about it. Maybe you were doing combines, uh, your weak hives, you know, with stronger hives or you were, you know, you know, configuring your hives to, you know, better suit your winter needs. Um, but this is the actual first hands-on step one of preparing your hive for winter. Thanks for stopping in today. If you have any questions, please, please uh, drop a comment, ask a question. This channel is not so busy that I cannot, you know, respond to the uh, comments section. And in fact, I encourage everybody to use the comments section as a tool. Seriously, ask a question. I will get back to you, you know, you know, at least within 24 hours, probably way sooner than that. You know, I always have my phone on me and if I have some downtime throughout my day, I could always respond in a, you know, a relatively thought out uh, response that hopefully will get you the answer that you are hoping for. Thanks for stopping by again and we will see you next time.